the purpose of this video is to show you how to use Microsoft Immersive Reader in Microsoft Word. So Immersive Reader is an accessibility feature um, that includes things like text-to-speech, um, picture dictionary, formatting text, formatting background, etc. So the first thing you'll need to do is go into your Clever and go to Office 365. If you don't see it in your favorites, you can just search for it in the search bar. So Office 365, click on it. You're going to click on the Microsoft Word application. So there's a blue square with a W. The reason I am going through the um, Clever account to do this is because through your Clever account, you should have the most recent version of Microsoft Word. So you'll have Immersive Reader for sure. However, sometimes if you go through your personal computer's Microsoft account, um, like the app that's on your computer separate from your teacher account, it might not be the most updated version of Microsoft Word, therefore you might not have Immersive Reader. So I truly recommend, especially if you're planning on sharing these documents with students that you go through your Clever account and you go through Office 365 to um, do this. So we're on Microsoft Word. We're online technically because we're in a browser. Um, I'm going to click on new blank document. Okay, so I'm going to just type some random sentences and then I'll show you how we would use um, this with Immersive Reader, and then I'll show you how you can share it with your students so that they can use Immersive Reader. Because remember, Immersive Reader is a personal feature. So whatever you do on your computer as the teacher with Immersive Reader doesn't translate to the student. The student has to navigate Immersive Reader from their computer independently. So anyways, I'm just gonna say, hi, um, welcome to pre-K, if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm a pre-K teacher. Um, I'm so happy you're here. Let's have a great school year. Let me know if you need anything above Ms. Chirac. Okay, obviously I'm not going to post this for my kids, Oops, but I did just want to give you guys an example. Um, so anyways, now that I've typed on my document, I want to use Immersive Reader with this document. So if you look up at the top right now, we're home, which lets you format the text. But if we go over to view, you'll see that immersive reader button pop up. So just as we are doing this now, this is what your students would do when they access the document wherever you post it, most likely on Canvas. So if I click on immersive reader, it's gonna save my document. And then you'll see it just made the text really, really, really big. So Immersive Reader um, formats the text. It can change or highlight um, the parts of speech. And there's some other things it can do like language translation, picture dictionary, etc. So I'm gonna go through each feature with you. Remember, we are on Microsoft Word. If you're looking how to do this in Canvas Pages, it's similar, but see my video on Canvas um, Immersive Reader. So anyways, the first thing we can do on Immersive Reader is change the text preferences. So if you look at the two A's, this is text preferences. If you click on it, it allows you to change the text. So we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller. Keep in mind, this is not changing your document. It's not editing your document at all. All this is doing is making the text more accessible. And you'll notice that as soon as we hit the back arrow exit, it goes back to our document the way it was. So don't worry that you're going to mess up your document. So again, we went to view, we went to immersive reader, 
We clicked on text preferences. Okay, so we changed the font. You can increase or decrease the spacing between the sentences or the lines. You can change the font. They give you a couple different options. And you can change the background color. So I'm not a reading specialist, um, but I have heard that different colors work well for specific students with specific disabilities or learning um, challenges. So definitely check with your reading specialist which colors would be suited for which students because then you can let those students know when you're using Immersive Reader, you'll need to use this color or that color. Remember, just because I'm using green now does not mean my student is seeing green on their screen. They'll have to go into this and manually set this for themselves. All right, so this was text preferences. We're gonna move over to grammar options. Basically, grammar options allows you to highlight the different parts of speech. So you saw that nouns, the nouns just turn purple, the verbs turn red, etc. You can even show the labels. So if I hit show labels, it'll show you at the top what it is. So N for noun, V for verb. You can even space out the syllables in the words. So when I did that, it took the word anything and it split it up into the three syllables that are in the word. So these were grammar options. The next icon with the book is reading preferences. If you click on it, there's lots you can do. So one thing you can do is line focus. So maybe you only want to read one line at a time. You would click on one line, or maybe you only want to read three lines at a time, or maybe five lines at a time. So again, remember, you can't really set this for your student, but you can teach your student how to do this or they can watch this video and when they're accessing your Word document, they can do this for themselves. Or if you happen to be doing a live Teams meeting with your students and you're reading a document together, you can focus in on specific lines in the document together. So that was a line focus. The next awesome thing you can do on Immersive Reader is the picture dictionary. So if I click on a word, if I click on happy, you'll notice that it brings up a person who looks happy. So the picture dictionary is sponsored by Boardmaker and it basically takes words and turns them into visual form. Obviously, this is going to be super beneficial for all of your students, definitely your English language learners or your students with learning disabilities, so that they can see a visual um, form of that word. So school, it shows you pictures of school. All right. You can also translate the text into another language. So this would be amazing for English language learners, their parents, and if you're a teacher and you happen to be an English language learner, this is an awesome feature because it allows you to change single words or an entire um, document. So if I click on the word school, if I go down here and I'm going to look for Spanish. Oops, do I want, let's do this one. Okay, so I chose to translate into Spanish and right now I'm just translating by word. So if I highlight a word and I click on it, it shows me the word in Spanish. I can even click Escuela. and listen to the Escuela. word. Now, if I want the entire document to be in Spanish, I would just um, turn the document translation on. So when you see it being green, that means that it's on. So now look at our document. The entire document is in Spanish. The translation might not be perfect, um, but again, with any technology, you always, you know, understand that it's never going to be 100%, but it's definitely very beneficial. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is the text-to-speech um, reader. So down here, you'll see a circle with an arrow, and when we highlight it, it says play. If you click on this... School year. Let me know if you need anything. Love, Mississippi. Shurak. Okay, 
So obviously the speech reader kind of messed up this, but it will read the text to you. So this is something amazing for young students, um, English language learners, and especially um, students who have any visual impairments. So again, if you start at the top. Hi, welcome to Pre-K. I'm so happy you're here. You can just press play and press pause as you need. If you look over here, this is voice settings. You can change the speed of the voice and you can change it from male to female. So I'm gonna change it to male and I'm gonna make it a little slower. And actually, now I'm gonna go back to our reading preferences. I'm gonna change the document to Spanish and now I'm gonna play it in Spanish. Hola, bienvenidos a Preta. Estoy tan feliz de que estés aquí. Vamos a tener... So you can see that now it's reading it to me in Spanish. So this is pretty much a basic overlay of Immersive Reader. Again, keep in mind, whatever you do on your end will not happen on the student's end. The student will have to go into Immersive Reader and navigate this themselves to customize it to whatever they need. So as teachers, we'll have to give the students and the parents the tools to be able to um, do this, to show them how to do it. You can always show them this video because the format on your screen, um, and by format I mean just the buttons available and the functions, those will be the same on the student's screen. Because look, now if we go back, there's just our regular document, nothing was edited, nothing was changed. So now um, you're probably wondering, well, if I want to share this with my student, how will they see Immersive Reader? Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is save your document. Um, I'm just going to save this as like practice. Okay, so now I saved it. Oops, there it is. Okay, so my document is saved. The next thing I need to do is copy the link for the document. So if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see um, a box with an arrow coming out of it. It says share. If you click on that, you can either email the document to somebody or you can copy the link. So we're going to click copy link. It's going to say link copied. Now, if I go into my canvas, I would just create an assignment or a page or whatever, however you normally um, share things with your students. So I'm just going to title this practice doc. And in the box, I'm going to paste that link we just um, copied. So now if I hit save, oops, now if I hit save, the document is in um, Canvas for my students to access. And when my students open the document, they'll see the document and they'll actually have a button that says immersive um, reader. So I'm going to show you what it would look like on the student's end. I'm just going to switch computers. So if the student opened that document, and I did make another edit to the document, it doesn't look exactly the same, but you'll see when the student opens that link, it doesn't bring up everything um, for the student to do, but it does let them read the document. And right there in the corner is that immersive reader um, button. So if I click on that immersive reader option as the student, it brings up the same exact thing that we saw. However, all of the things we did in immersive reader aren't showing up here because like I said, the student has to do it from their own computer for themselves. So now the student could change the text size or could um, highlight the grammar or could, um, change the language. So um, again, this is, oops, sorry. All right, so again, this is Immersive Reader for Microsoft Word. And I did another video on using it for Canvas pages. Go check that out. Um, please let me know if this was helpful.